Now, let's say that we rung up a product and we tendered it out for cash. The customer can give us $50, $100, ones, fives, tens, twenties. They can give us $1.30 even or $2, which is more likely going to be the more common one. So we will let me put this over here. Press the correct tender, which I'm going to go ahead and press the $2 one. And I'm going to zoom in right here so you can see what it shows on here. And it's going to show you our change due in red so we know how much change to give back to the customer. Now, let's for, say, for example, that that customer did not want that Heath bar and they wanted to get a whatchamacallit instead or something like that. What we'll need to do is a refund so this doesn't mess up our inventory instead of just swapping it out. So we're going to hit here on the refund button, click, and then you scan the product again and that's going to put it in there as a return. So then what we're going to do is go ahead and hit tender and cash and that's going to show us our refund and it'll print another receipt that shows the return, get to focus on it, and then we're going to just staple these two together to let our bosses know that this was actually a refund that was actually paid for.